Hello, everyone. I am here to show you um, the predictor role. So in your recipro reciprocal teaching um, form, the first box you're going to see here is the role of the predictor. And so it says, I predict this section will be about because using text evidence, and then I'm going to reflect after I read. Um, so as the predictor, you are going to whatever your text is, whether that's a movie or um, an article, a book, um, whatever you are looking at, you are going to make a prediction based on what you know and what you see um, about what the article is going to be about or what the text is going to be about. So you're going to be an active reader. So I'm going to show you on this article here. Um, we're going to use this. It says, Our School Dress Codes Fair. Uh, dress code controversies are in the headlines, violations, protest, even arrests. Are our bodies distracting others or maybe clothing standards are just part of growing up? Um, and so by just kind of skimming that and looking at what I have here for text evidence, I am going to um, make a little bit of a prediction here. So I'm going to go through and I actually am just going to make a prediction on this article based on what I can see uh, right here. Um, and so some of the pieces of text evidence um, that I can pick out are actually, sorry, before I pick out the evidence, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say that I think this section is going to be about, be about um, it says our school dress codes fair. Um, so that would be a really easy thing for me to say. I think it's going to show me both sides of the issue and then kind of tell me um, or help me to make a decision on that question. Um, but I actually, just based on what I see here, um, based on some of the pictures that I see, um, I actually think that it's going to really lead me in the direction that dress codes are not fair. Um, I don't think it's going to present me an unbiased opinion. So, and I'll tell you why. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, I predict this article will be about how dress codes are not fair um, to people. Okay, so I actually, I predict this article is going to be about how dress codes are not fair. And so if I go back in here, some of the pieces of text evidence I'm going to pick out. Um, so it says here, um, or actually if I look at the pictures, it says here, do my shoulders turn you on? The principal didn't like her message T. Um, here it has a picture of a young lady. It says she was dress coded for braids. Um, and then there's a picture of what looks to be a young man there and says ripped jeans were a no-go at his school. And so if I look at these pictures, when I think dress codes, in my mind, these are not things um, that people are usually getting dress coded for. So I think they purposely, the author is choosing to purposely put pictures here um, of things that people don't really think of when they think of dress code because he, the author, and I don't know if it's, I don't know who the author is, um, but I think the author is going to show us that dress codes are silly because we're getting violated or, or people are getting violations for things like t-shirts um, and for things like their hair. Um, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, because I see pictures of things that are not typical, and I'm going to put that in quotation marks, typical dress code violations, and I believe that the author is going to use the fact that people are getting violations over things like hair, whoops, things like hair. Oh goodness, I'm very upset apparently. <laughs> things like hair um, to persuade me to think that we shouldn't have them. And I know I've got some spelling errors in there, but um, so that's kind of how predictor is going to work. You're just going to look at, um, for this case, I looked at pictures. I also could go in and I could look at like this subtitle underneath the heading, dress codes or controversies. Um, 
are our bodies distracting others or are clothing standards just a part of growing up? Um, so I actually could add that as well. His second question there, or maybe clothing standards are just a part of growing up. So I actually could go in here and I also could say the author also poses the question and makes it seem like clothing choices are just a part of growing up. So I am seeing a lot in there, um, just in that little first section, that is really making me see think that the author is going to persuade me. And I really don't think that the author does think that they're fair. Um, and so that is my prediction. And then I would go through. And after I read, I just would do a little blip. Was my prediction right or wrong? And then why? So for me, I could either say after reading the article, yes, I was right because the author did present a lot more reasons for the for why dress codes are unfair to people. Um, or I might say, no, I was wrong because maybe the author gave me both sides of the story or maybe the author leaned more towards the fact that they are fair to people. So that's how I would do the predictor role.